for I took the oil filter off to see and if y'all could see there's a lot of oil still in there after it all got there it started getting less suction so I'm guessing the oil was causing it and that was it see now maybe we're gonna come in here and find out somehow the oil filter was connected to this top part I don't know we're gonna know in a minute though so gotta get that in there Get this guy. I'm just going to get a bunch of little screwdrivers in here. There we go. Got one there. We're just going to have to keep slowly wedging ourselves down to break. All this gasket it could be because i heated up for a while too with the heat gun i didn't show you that because it was taking forever you'll see it's still wanting to hang together but it is opening now and i'm just gonna slowly see we lost it move around That's in there. See that? It wants to come right out immediately. So you gotta go down a little more. And slowly pry it. And we're kind of beating up the uh, gasket pretty bad. Alright, so we're gonna have to do the whole way. Get this apart. All that old gasket is just still glued. You hear it? As I'm prying, it's just super glued together. No. I know what you're saying, but I'm holding it up. You guys hear it? It's slowly cracking all the way around. So then you got to come down, move this screwdriver. It's like my wedge. And then this guy. I just was trying to hold this because I could see you hitting it with your elbow. I'm dropping all the oil. That would suck. Okay. Right. Shove this guy in here real good. Oh yeah, we're through there in the middle. Yeah. This is gonna be the process the whole way around. But it's working. But there's gonna be no way to save that gasket. It's, it looks like they didn't even have a gasket. It looks like it might be RTV sealant. So I might be good to go get some RTV and reseal this. I'm gonna wedge all the way around and come back so you guys don't have to watch this for eight years, okay? All right, everybody, we're back. We got it off. All it was is, guess what? This is RTV sealant. This is not a gasket. It kind of looked like that could be a gasket. And maybe they were rubber gaskets and they melted. I'm going to look it up, but it looks like RTV sealant to me. And they just uniformly a machine or something put it on. They do it all day. See? So the only thing you have to do, you don't have to remove all that stuff to do where I'm getting into. You do if you need other things. To get into so here's the problem i'm gonna quit for the night which sucks because i'm in here this is the parking brake see these o-rings there's two o-rings see them right here i'm gonna bring you over can you unhook that for me and how like pull it out of there and take off the power cable power cable can you see those mm -hmm. these two o-rings okay there's also ones on this end of it, and that's what's leaking. Show them from above as you can. I'm going to shine a light down in there. Mm -hmm. Can you see down in there? Kind of. Bring it right in here as close as you can, but... No, no. I'll show it. That way I can see what I'm talking about. See down that shaft? Right there, there's an O-ring. My fingers, I can't get them in the way and do it. And so, that's what I can do. So, this has to come out right here. It's this whole part of the chamber 
hydraulic uh, flow for the uh, filtration, the filter. See the filter right here? It goes right here. See my hands? And then it goes up through here, through here, down into there, cleans it. Okay, so it goes up and around, out. That goes dirty oil here, through it, out, filters. And then after it filters, it goes back through everything. So all these gears are going to have to come off. And as you can see, they're, they're going to come off. They're pretty easy. But all this has to be pulled. See that right there? Which means all these seals that I have are probably going to need to be done. And I'm going to have to get some RTV. I'm going to look it up though. I don't know if y'all know, but it doesn't look like a gasket. You see how it's not out here? It's not out here, but then on some it is. So that to me says RTV sealant. It really looks like it the way it was breaking off. See? Gloopy thicker. So they used RTV. Which is good for me. It means I don't have to buy a... $800 gasket from the place because that's how they are if it's theirs but that's what we're gonna do okay I kind of want to do more but it's so much work I'm gonna see if I get those bolts real easy and if it'll go through and if it's more I'm quitting okay it's late all right everybody so here we go we're gonna slowly take that I was gonna wait till tomorrow but I'm gonna do this best part about this is I have video to show. Okay, so I'm gonna lay them in here. The way they go. Big gear. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't lose that. I think I can leave him there. This guy just gotta come out because of how that is. So that goes there. That ring goes there. He's staying on top. I'm gonna move some of this stuff. Don't need a lot of it. Oops, sorry guys. Okay. So there we go. That ring's off. This guy here is connected in there, or is he not? Okay, he's out with the gear in the middle. Put that come out. And you know what, we're there. I'm gonna pause this, I'm gonna grab my wrench, and I think I can do this here, Rope. Not a snap ring, it is a snap on ring, but it's not a snap ring, so I got a screwdriver under it. It's one of these ones with the uh, little cuts in the metal that they, they're flat, and as you push them down, they lock on, okay? Take that off, and you can pull this guy out of there. It's filthy. And now, there is a clamp in there. You can pull it out. It looks like that is a snap ring. And I don't have, like I told you, my one I wanted with the uh, sideways claws. I probably can't even see what I'm doing right here. Okay, well, it's right around this part here. I can't show you. Uh, there it is, right there okay so that's where I pulled the clamp off it pulled this whole arm out of there see now there's a snap ring in there now I gotta try to get it in there in between that's eight hours later I got the snap ring by using this uh, straight ones okay not that snap rings out this shaft well, I'm going to show you. It's pulling out right here. I don't know if you can see it right here. And it's going to pull out of the middle. Right there. See it? I'm not going to pull it out. It's out of the way. Now I can pull this out. It goes into there. I'm going to leave it in there. Probably shouldn't, though. I should take it out and clean it a little, maybe. Yeah, I'll clean it off. At least all that debris in there. And as you can see, it has a second clamp the other kind on top of the snap ring so it was a snap ring then the ring then that so lots of ringing okay i got this guy here <clears throat> i 
might need a breaker bar to break these frame. We'll go see, okay? We'll be back. 